We all know that the world of science is constantly advancing, and with each new discovery comes a better understanding of our universe. Scientific discoveries show us just how little we know and how much more we need to uncover. Although we know incredibly little in the grand scheme of things, that is not scaring scientists away from exploration, and they have continued to discover more secrets about the universe. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we continue to research three incredible discoveries to inspire our followers with the mysteries around us. NASA researchers find evidence of planet-building clumps. Incredibly, the evidence that supports a theory that says golf ball-sized clumps of space dust form the building blocks for our terrestrial planets is beginning to show up. NASA's Astromaterials Research and Exploration Science Division at Johnson Space Center in Texas and NASA's Ames Research Center in California have released a paper that provides evidence for a theory called pebble accretion. This theory states that in the beginning stages of the formation of planets, clumps of space dust come together to form tiny planets called planetesimals. As Justin Simon, a researcher at Ayers, explains, this is very exciting because our research provides the first direct evidence supporting this theory. There have been many theories about planetesimal formation, but many have been stymied by a factor called the bouncing barrier. According to the bouncing barrier principle, planets cannot form directly from the buildup of small dust particles colliding in space because the impact would blow off some particles, slowing down growth. According to Simon, if these colliding objects were much larger, such golf ball-sized clumps, they could have enough gravity to remain intact to form larger bodies. The research also uses the investigation into two ancient meteorites, Allende and Northwest Africa 717, to demonstrate evidence of a common dust sticking process. These meteorites, which are so old that they are often used to date the solar system, were analyzed using electron microscope images and high-resolution photomicrographs that showed that within the meteorite slices, particles appeared to be concentrated together in clumps of 3 or 4 centimeters. These clumps show that these ancient meteorites were themselves produced by the aggregation of golf ball-sized objects, demonstrating the process was possible for other objects as well. This new evidence shows how much we still need to learn about planetary formation because, at least for now, we still know very little, and the reality that we may have gotten a little closer to finding the answer is incredibly exciting for the science of astronomy. Saturn's translucent rings revealed in Cassini image NASA's Cassini spacecraft has captured an incredible snapshot that shows the translucent nature of Saturn's rings, one of the most recognized features of any planet in the Milky Way galaxy. The Cassini mission was a combined project of NASA, the European Space Agency, and the Italian Space Agency. The spacecraft was designed and developed at JPL and spent more than a decade examining Saturn. The incredible image was taken with Cassini's narrow-angle camera before the intentional end of the mission in 2017, when the spacecraft was hurled into Saturn. Amazingly, the rings of Saturn are visible in the stunning image taken by Cassini and show just how translucent these rings are due to how the light reflected off Saturn's cloud tops is seen through the rings. Although Saturn's rings appear solid in some of the images, the rings are an envelope of water ice that surrounds the gas giant. These particles range in size from as large as mountains to smaller than a grain of sand. Saturn's ring system extends up to 175,000 miles from the planet. Despite this incredible width, the rings are only 30 feet thick in the majority of places. This new image has captured the true nature of Saturn's rings. The translucency almost makes Saturn look delicate, although that is far from the reality of the planet. Although the Cassini mission has already ended, another mission will hopefully be able to gather even more data that tells us a more complete story about this incredible planet. NASA's Lunar Viper Rover In an exciting new development, NASA's Lunar Rover Volatiles Investigating Polar Exploration Rover, or Viper, is headed to the Moon's South Pole in an expedition planned for late 2023. 
The plan is to search for resources that could help sustain human settlements in space. Incredibly, NASA has yet to send a rover to the moon, despite having sent multiple rovers to Mars. It seems NASA is now making the moon more of a priority. NASA recently announced that Viper will land to the west of Nobile, a crater at the south pole of the moon. This location was chosen due to its type of terrain and its potential water hosting abilities. The presence of water ice at the south pole of the moon has been known since the lunar crater observation and sensing satellites gave confirmation in 2009. What is still not known is how much water is on the moon and how it arrived there. That is where Viper comes in. The rover has a meter-long drill that will assist in investigating lunar soil that scientists have had limited ability to access remotely. Although water is not only vital for human existence, it's also important for space exploration. Water can assist in protecting humans from radiation and it can also create rocket fuel and oxygen. Scientists figure if they need to be able to get humans on the moon for extended periods of time, it becomes more critical for human explorers to be able to find their own water during space travel rather than shipping it. Using remote sensing data, NASA has deduced that the moon's soils may contain hundreds of millions of gallons of water ice. The main goal of Viper will be to determine the kinds of resources that the moon will be able to provide for future missions. The samples the rover finds could also aid in identifying the origin of the moon's water, which scientists currently do not know, although it is suspected that it could have arrived by asteroid or comet. Although scientists are still in the dark about what they may find, one thing planned is that Viper will only traverse the parts of the moon where the sun never shines. This is due to the reality that those locations are the only places where water ice would be able to survive on the moon due to sunlight. This means that Viper was created to withstand the coldest temperatures as the lunar surface can drop to minus 400 degrees Fahrenheit, making it one of the coldest places in the entire universe. Viper is expected to stay warm using the energy its solar panels will generate. While this alone is enough to be impressed with Viper, there is so much more to this rover than its ability to stay warm in freezing temperatures. Another impressive aspect of this mission is that Viper will be delivering information in near real-time. Due to Viper operating near Earth, quicker communication is to be expected. The latency of the lunar rover is expected to be between 6 to 10 seconds. Additionally, unlike Mars rovers that carry out pre-planned movements on Mars's surface, Viper will analyze areas of the Moon, with NASA scientists deciding soon after where they will drill next. Scientists are set to explore these incredible new frontiers, and the potential knowledge they may come out of this mission with is exciting to say the least. But what do you make of these discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.